Hello, Sam here from Writesonic, and today I'm very excited to present our brand new SEO checker and optimization tool. So this tool will help you optimize your content for the best SEO practices and help you rank on the very first page of Google. And of course, that will help you increase your traffic, signups, as well as sales. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So if you see my screen, I'm here on the right Sonic dashboard. Now on the top here, there's the Sonic editor. This is our redesigned Sonic editor, an editor interface, which is very similar to Google Docs, but with added content marketing, AI, and sort of editing functionalities. So I'll just click on the Sonic editor. So this will load my editor window. And uh, what I'll do is I'll paste an article that I previously generated using Writesonic itself on the topic AI in marketing. So of course you can kind of generate your content from scratch using AI, or you can also directly import in any content that you previously wrote as well, so that you can optimize that for SEO purposes. So what I'll do now is on the left-hand sidebar, you'll see this option called SEO optimizer. So you can just click that option and this will load this plugin on the left hand side. Now, one thing you'll observe is that plugin has automatically identified some keywords from the content that we have. So basically, Writesonic is able to automatically read your blog or your content and suggest relevant keywords that you can use as your primary keywords to optimize it for SEO. So I'll quickly go through some of these other options here. So first of all, um, you know, you can enter in your own keywords if you know what keywords you are targeting for this blog. Or you can also select some of the keywords as mentioned here. The other option that you have is to select the uh, location as well. So all the different um, country options are available. So depending on which country you want to rank in, which country you want to target, you can choose um, any country from here. And Writesonic will basically use the results from those countries or the competitors from those countries to help optimize your content further. Then the other thing is, uh, you'll also see this thing here called SEO score, which I'll talk about briefly, but um, this SEO checker will give you a score from zero to 100, which will help you kind of get a sense of how well written the content is uh, on a variety of different parameters. So I'll show that in a second. Now, what I'll do here is the main topic that I had here was AI and marketing, which it has identified uh, quite quickly. So I'll just click on AI and marketing. You can also enter your own keywords. You can enter one keyword or even five keywords up to you. But the first keyword would be treated as your focus keyword or, or the primary keyword. So I'll select that. I'll leave the default location to US itself. And then I'll click the start analysis button. So this will take a couple of seconds. And then what this will do is it will come up with a score from zero to 100, as I was saying. It gave a good score of 56. Now I'll talk about what that score exactly means. So here we consider a variety of different SEO factors that basically help drive the rankings on Google. So there are a bunch of different things that, that are included here. So for example, first of all, there are four things you know, one, one is the word count itself, like how long or short your content is, how many headings are there, how many subheadings are there, how many paragraphs are there, and then also how many images are there. Now, these kind of numbers that you see here, these are the numbers for our blog that we have on the right-hand side of the editor. And at the same time, what you see at the bottom is the ideal range in which you should be in order for your, uh, you know, this blog to rank on Google. Now, how do we actually determine that is basically, you know, the keyword that you entered in the initial step, we go and search for that, that keyword on Google. Then we see what are the top sort of competitors that are already ranking for that keyword on the first five or first 10 results. Based on that, we calculate these ranges. Like let's say in the top five competitors or the top five articles that are ranking on Google, what's the average word count, what's the average number of headings, what's the average number of paragraphs, images, and so on. So this score actually comes by analyzing all of your competitors and coming up with those kind of 
scores, like how many words they have and so on. So that's one part of it. Second part is then the keyword. So for any on-page op- on SEO optimization, without keywords, it would sort of be incomplete. So you'll see there are three different kinds of keywords that we give. One is the competitor keywords. So these are basically the keywords that your top competitors are ranking for. So for example, if my topic was AI and marketing, and there were like, you know, five sort of top competitors I picked. So let's say if my topic was AI in marketing, what this will do is it will check the top five competitors and see which are the keywords that the competitors are ranking for and what are the volumes for that, what are the different traffic metrics for that. So in this case, if you see, once I hover here, it shows me the volume for AI marketing is 60,500. So 60,500 people search for this keyword every month. And these are the top keywords that the competitors are already ranking for. Second, we have long tail keywords. So these are, these are basically longer keywords that you should target in your content. And these will also help you with ranking as well. And then third thing that we have here is the common competitor terms. So these are not exactly the keywords, but these are the terms that your competitors are using. So these are the three different kinds of keywords or terms that you get. And then one thing you'll also notice here is it gives you suggestions that how many times that keyword should be present in your article. So in this case, it says that the AI marketing keyword should be present about 17 to 27 times. And this metric, again, as I just mentioned, came from your competitors. So like how many times have the competitors in general written about this keyword? So just like that, you have a bunch of different competitor keywords here. You have some long tail keywords and then some terms as well. Now, you don't need to kind of have literally every keyword in your article to, you know, uh, get to a very high score or to rank on Google. But basically, a combination of these and the ideal number that you should target here is more than 65. So if you are more than 65, you know, about 70, 80, around that number, that's quite good to, you know, help you potentially rank on Google. Of course, there are a lot of other metrics as well, like backlinks and, you know, uh, technical SEO and all of those that also come into play. But from an on-page SEO perspective, this will put you in a very good place if you are above 65, 70 kind of score here. So now let's try some optimization and see how our score improves. So for example here, now one thing you'll observe is there are no images present and The recommended range is 12 to 17 images should be present there based on what competitors are doing. So what I'll do here is I'll add an image at the very top. So I'll just add a space there. And on the editor itself, I'll go to the Photosonic plugin and I'll search for something, you know, AI in marketing. I'll search, I'll click the enhance prompt button. This will improve my prompt for image generation. And then I'll click the generate button. So this will basically give me a couple of images that I can add into my uh, content on the right hand side. So let's say I pick this one and I'll go back to the SEO optimizer. Okay, nice. So initially our score was 56, just by adding one image that has improved to 57. Now this is not linear that if you add like 17 images, it would increase your score by 17 points. It doesn't work like that. There's a lot of different Um, kind of factors and weightage that is given to different things. So it's a very well-balanced score that you sort of get here. So that that was the first thing I did. Now let's do something else. Let's try to incorporate some of these keywords in our uh, article and see how that helps with our ranking. So let's see. Uh, Maybe I'll just quickly pick up this uh, advertising keyword. So AI in advertising. Um, So what I'll do is I'll scroll to the uh, last few paragraphs. So I've already written about AI and content marketing, AI for business growth, email marketing, all of that. Now, AI in affiliate marketing as well. So maybe what I'll do is I'll add one more section here and let's call it the importance of AI in advertising. And my score has already gone to 58. Now what I'll do is I'll use the AI writing functionality available in the editor itself to write a big paragraph for me. So let's say I'll just click the space bar over here and I'll say write on the importance of AI in advertising. 
I'll also say make sure to include the keywords. And let's pick a couple of these keywords. So AI advertising is one keyword. Then marketing AI is one keyword. Now let's go to some of the long tail keywords. So AI in marketing automation is one. And generative AI in marketing. Let's pick generative AI in marketing. And then let's pick a couple of these competitor terms. So machine learning can be one. Uh, I'll also do deep learning as well. Uh, programmatic advertising is another, maybe marketing strategy as well. So basically a couple of those keywords you can add. Um, I've already added a bunch of them and then I'll just hit the enter button and it will start, the AI will start writing my paragraph here. Okay, so it has written one paragraph. Now I'll make it a little bit longer because the previous sections have like four to five paragraphs in each of them. So I'll just click this make longer button over here. And this will sort of extend it to a couple of paragraphs while still including all the keywords that we specified. Okay, so that's nice. It's already written three, four paragraphs there. And just in the meanwhile, let's check our score. So that's 58 right now. I'll click the add generated text to the document button. Oh, nice, and it has gone all the way to 64. And if you see here, um, most of those keywords that we mentioned should be covered here. So for example, uh, marketing strategy is one, AI in advertising we already wrote, then um, programmatic advertising it also covered. So a lot of these different keywords, are not, again, marketing strategies. So all these keywords it has covered, and if you see here now, Programmatic advertising has been included. Marketing automation has been included. Uh, deep learning has been included. Machine learning is you know, uh, included once more. So just like that, you can either manually sort of modify your text and you know, or add new text, or you can also take advantage of the editing and writing functionalities over here. We're also re releasing an automated SEO optimized kind of feature in the next couple of days. So what that will also help you do is you can just select some paragraph here and you can click the SEO optimize button and it will automatically optimize the content for you. You, would, you wouldn't even need to manually enter the prompt or you know paste any keywords there. And one thing if you observe here, it has also already kind of met the word count. So the suggested range was 2000 to about 2600 words. So that is well within that range. So that also contributed to our score there. And just with some more minor changes, we can easily cross the 65 mark. And um, that will be a very good indication that our article is now ready to, to be published. And potentially Google will give preference to it and help it rank on the first page of Google. So that's it for this video. We hope you liked it. And we are coming up with lots of very interesting SEO features apart from you know this one as well. So do stay tuned and we'll be back with another video on some other cool feature very soon. Till then, stay connected. Thanks a lot for watching.